the two greatest of all time. McLaughlin Lavrone up on the world held its breath as Sidney McLaughlin Lavrone blazed through the 400 meter hurdles at the Paris Olympics, smashing her world record and claiming gold. But her victory wasn't just about speed or skill, it was a heartfelt moment of faith. On the podium, Sydney gave glory to Jesus Christ, sparking a wave of reactions across the globe. How did one athlete's bold declaration of faith shake the world's biggest stage? Yet more excitement on the track at the Paris Olympics where the women's 400 meter hurdles has just taken place. Eagerly anticipated this one. Let's head back to Paris. On August 9th, 2024, the world witnessed one of the most extraordinary moments in sports history. The venue was the bustling Stade de France in Saint-Denis, where thousands of fans eagerly awaited the women's 400-meter hurdles final at the Paris Olympics. Among the competitors stood Sidney McLaughlin Lavrone, already a record-breaking athlete, poised to redefine the limits of her discipline. As the gun went off, Sidney surged forward with her signature elegance and precision, leaving no doubt about her dominance. She didn't just win the gold medal that day, she shattered her world record, crossing the finish line in a performance that seemed almost otherworldly. The crowd erupted in applause, but Sydney's focus was elsewhere. As cameras zoomed in on her elated face, she lifted her hands in prayer, visibly overwhelmed. Later, standing on the podium with her gold medal shining in the sunlight, she spoke with gratitude and humility, giving glory to God. What an honor, a blessing, and a privilege. I never want to take these moments for granted, she shared. Her words reflected not just the joy of her victory, but the profound role her faith played in her journey. In a week where my faith was tried, my peace wavered, and the weight of the world began to descend. God was beyond gracious, she added. Sydney's reference to scripture during her celebration was deeply personal. The Bible verse she highlighted spoke volumes about her relationship with God, though the specific verse was not publicly disclosed. It symbolized her reliance on divine strength amidst challenges, underscoring the resilience and humility that have defined her career. In a sport that demands both physical prowess and mental fortitude, her acknowledgement of God as her source of peace resonated with millions. For Sydney, this victory wasn't just about athletic achievement. It was a testament to faith overcoming adversity. And knowing that there's still more to come. Do you think that's ever a double you would do? What do you think? Thank you, God. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's faith is not just a private matter. It's a central part of her identity. Over the years, she has used her Instagram platform to share reflections on her Christian beliefs. Her posts often include insights from Bible studies expressions of gratitude, and encouraging words for her followers. These glimpses into her spiritual life reveal a young woman deeply committed to her relationship with God, a rarity in the high-pressure world of elite athletics. For Sydney, her faith isn't just a Sunday ritual. It's a daily guide that shapes her outlook and actions. Her decision to openly credit Jesus Christ during one of the most significant moments of her career was a bold and intentional act. In a world where public figures are often cautious about expressing their religious beliefs, Sydney's declaration stood out. By thanking God so openly on a global stage, she aligned her Olympic success with her spiritual journey. It wasn't just about thanking her family or coaches. Sydney wanted the world to know who she believed had guided her path. Her words, God was beyond gracious, weren't just an acknowledgement of her win, they were a testimony of faith that transcended the track. In and of myself, I have nothing to offer God, but it is just the righteousness of Jesus covering my life. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's open acknowledgement of her Christian faith at the Olympics stirred up a mixture of reactions, highlighting a broader controversy around public displays of religion in global events. Reports emerged of Christian athletes being discouraged from openly expressing their faith during the games. These stories included athletes who were reportedly barred from displaying religious imagery or using creative means to proclaim their beliefs. One skateboarder, for instance, was said to have communicated Jesus Christ is the way in sign language after being told not to vocalize it on the microphone. 
Similarly, a surfer was allegedly warned about disqualification if they didn't remove religious symbols from their board. These examples add weight to claims that expressing Christianity is increasingly met with resistance on international stages. Social media quickly became a battleground of opinions following McLaughlin Lavrone's faith statement. Supporters flooded the internet with praise, applauding her for her courage and for using her platform to glorify God. Many shared her quotes and discussed the Bible verse she referenced, celebrating her as a role model for unapologetic faith. On the flip side, critics questioned the appropriateness of such overt religious expressions at a secular sporting event, with some accusing her of pushing a personal agenda. Mainstream media coverage reflected this divide, with some outlets framing her comments as inspiring, while others highlighted the tension it sparked. This controversy is part of a larger conversation about the place of religion in public spaces, especially in secular societies. In Europe, where secularism has deep roots, public expressions of Christianity often face criticism. Such instances highlight a challenging double standard, while expressions of other faiths may sometimes pass without issue. Christianity, particularly in the West, is frequently met with skepticism or opposition. McLaughlin Lavrone's moment on the world stage reignited the debate about whether faith belongs in the public sphere or if it should remain a private matter, revealing how deeply divided opinions remain on this subject. Europe has long been a symbol of secularism, a shift that has significantly impacted the expression of religious beliefs. Over the years, public prayers, religious education, and Christian traditions have steadily disappeared from mainstream society. This shift hasn't been kind to Christians who wish to speak openly about their faith. In many cases, they face challenges ranging from social ridicule to institutional discouragement. Christianity, once a cornerstone of Western civilization, is often viewed through a lens of skepticism, especially when compared to the perceived tolerance for other religions. The contrast is striking. While public expressions of some faiths are often celebrated as cultural or spiritual identity, Christianity faces a unique level of scrutiny. For example, when a Christian athlete mentions Jesus, it may lead to backlash. Yet similar statements from athletes of other faiths, such as thanking Allah, often garner less controversy. This disparity speaks to a deeper issue in modern secular societies, a growing discomfort with Christianity's prominence in history and culture, despite its continued influence on moral and ethical values. The challenges Christians face today mirror, in some ways, the persecution seen in biblical times. Just as early Christians were ostracized and punished for their beliefs, modern-day followers often find themselves navigating a culture that seems increasingly hostile to their faith. Yet history also shows how Christianity has thrived in adversity. The early church grew despite Roman oppression, and today's challenges, while different, could serve as a refining force for those steadfast in their beliefs. This historical context offers hope and perspective, reminding Christians that their faith has weathered far greater storms in the past. Athletes who will be professing faith in Christ um, that we can be watching for. Cindy McLaughlin Lavroni obviously is, is one of them. Yes, she was on the, the cover of our latest uh, magazine. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's bold testimony at the Olympics is a testament to the profound impact of public faith. Her words didn't just resonate with her supporters. They sparked conversations across the globe. The Bible verse she referenced saw a surge in interest, with people searching for its meaning and exploring the scripture she so deeply cherishes. Her testimony transcended the bounds of the sporting world, reaching people who may have never encountered such a raw and public declaration of faith. For young Christians, Sydney's example is especially inspiring. In a world where peer pressure and societal expectations often push people to conform, her courage to stand firm in her beliefs is a beacon of hope. It shows that success and faith are not mutually exclusive, and that living authentically can be the ultimate form of victory. Her story has likely emboldened countless young athletes to embrace their faith journeys, knowing that being vocal about their beliefs doesn't diminish their accomplishments, it enhances them. Sydney McLaughlin Lavrone's open acknowledgement of her faith 
at the Paris Olympics touched on something much bigger than sports. It brought the issue of freedom of expression into sharp focus. Her decision to publicly thank Jesus Christ after her record-breaking victory highlighted a basic human right, the ability to express one's beliefs without fear of backlash. This isn't just about religion, it's about ensuring that every individual, regardless of their background or faith, has the space to share their values openly. On a global stage like the Olympics, where athletes represent diverse cultures and beliefs, limiting someone's right to speak about their faith raises tough questions about fairness and inclusion. So what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.